All right, guys. We're going to jump straight into this tonight. Why isn't this minimized to the tray? Sorry, I probably shouldn't even be messing with this right now. I see no no option to minimize to the tray. That sucks. Anyway, go away. Let's jump straight into this with Fallout 1, Day 8, on a Friday. I know we don't stream on Fridays, but um, I want to play this, and I have nothing else to do, so let's do it. I really want to... Oh, and... um. At the the uh the bunker at the um what was it the glow wherever that place was yeah the glow I f I thought of something I didn't think of last night but the elevator we were trying to get open I have a crowbar and I haven't really used the crowbar at all that might actually be useful there I'm not gonna go back there straight away tonight though. Probably gonna wait quite a while to go back there. Um, tonight, just gonna work on. We only have 37 days left. Work on trying to get that water chip figured out. Um, oh, I wanted wanted to read those. Hollow Disks 2. Many Hollow Disks. Freeze op autopsy reports. Download. Hollow Disk that Sophia gave me. Download. Hollow Disk that Maxon gave me. And that's the Ancient Brotherhood Disk. Which we already, yeah, we already have that one. Also, I decided I'm gonna get rid of the shotgun. So uh, I'm gonna be close range. I'm I'm gonna use my fist. So sniper will be my main weapon. All right. Let's see, Sophia's disc. The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Roving b bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they wore the armor of power. Members of their families were not so lucky. Once the vermin was found out they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. They took a great many casualties, yet for every member of the Exodus that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxon, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home, and all was well. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home our temple and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress onto something glorious, the beauty of which the techno technologically bereft world had never seen before. Yet, there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxon warned these impetuous youths that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed when we were spared, but they would not hear his words. They took their sanctified armor and headed off to find their holy grail, but not before they spoke to the deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from again. Let's 
So yeah, I do want to figure out what is at the bottom of the the glow area. Seems like it's something pretty important. That's one of my main goals. There's that. Finding out what's in the glow. Also, uh, finding out about the missing caravans. And getting the damn water chip. Which, act, I mean, it seems like such a silly, silly thing to go after. <laughs> When compared to all the rest of the stuff that's going on in this world. Maxon's Log By my orders as active commanding officer following the untimely death of Colonel Robert Spindle during this time of crisis, the full base security team has been deployed to the security bunker at Lost Hills. This directive also includes the families of the officers and enlisted men. Unless otherwise directed from a proper representative of the War Department, this order will stand as written. Operative 1. All military personnel and their families are to vacate the base by 0800, 25th October 2077. All personnel traveling under command will make their way to Lost Hills Base. No leave has been granted. Operative 2. All civilian personnel are directed to re remain at base, pending orders from their legal command structure. Operative 3. Equipment deemed necessary to the survival of base mi military personnel is to be immediately drawn from stores. Proper authorization will follow, time permitting. Operative 4. All codes of military justice will be harshly enforced on military personnel and civilian personnel in joint military op operations. Operative 5. Until such time as consistent and authorized communication can be established with the War Department, these orders will have precedence over any previously established orders. Captain Maxson, 24th October 2077. Regulator transmission. I've already read that. Freeze autopsy reports. Four pages. Initial observations. This is truly amazing. Some of the knights on a patrolling expedition came across an unusual creature. This creature appears to be humanoid and quite possibly was once a, of a human state. However, there are many differences in the structure of this creature uh, than that of normal humans. In the initial investigation of this creature, it is discovered to have a cellular structure akin to that of humans. Before any possible decomposition can take place, I'm taking down the statistics of this subject. Statistics, statistics of subject A. 3.2 meters. Mass, 363.21 kilograms. Gender, indeterminate. Must be a super mutant. Skin color predominantly gray with tints of green under the current lighting system. Uncertain if this is due to decay or exposure in the wastelands. Note the skin is extremely tough with respect to scalpels. Mass breakdown muscle mass 77.41%, bone mass 10.23, fat mass 3.02, tissue mass 9.34. Damn. It's a lean motherfucker. Cellular structure. Cells undergo cellular, cellular division at an increased rate. Mitosis occurs at a rate 15% quicker than that of normal humans. Cellular structure appears to be highly similar to humans. Genetic structure shows a strong correlation between the subject and Homo sapiens. Possibly a mutation from the nuclear and biochemical agents remnant from the war. DNA strands appear to be very complete. All recessive genes for ailments appear to have been eradicated from the system. The RNA strands also appear to have been manipulated to allow for a greater transmission of signals. Initial hypothesis. Based on the increased size of the neural transmitters and synaptic receivers, I would hypo hypothesize the subject had acute reflexes and heightened senses. Based on the reports the knights gave of the area in which the subject was discovered, 
barren, high radiation, extremely high concentrations of chemical agents. It is a wonder the subject survived as long as it did, performing tests to determine possible cause of death. Results from tests conducted upon subject A. Visual inspection. Black powder burns near the area suggests possible bullet. 1.2 centimeter lacerations upon the calf of the right leg appear to have been made by teeth. We'll conduct tests for possible rabies. Skin dried out and flaking, possible exposure. Test re results, radiation count 12 rads, rabies clean, hydrochloric gas clean. Chlorine level 0.07%, sulfuric content 0.02%. Phase shifting virus clean. Gamma cyclotronic virus clean. Forced to evolutionary virus 2. Severe overdose. Hypothesis. Based on my observations, I would hypothesize that the test subject had been has been killed in a severe fight of at least two people and three animals the size of dogs. What is truly astonishing is the extent of viral infection in the subject. I had read once that some pre-war scientists were conducting experiments with such a virus, but all of the research notes were destroyed. Research into this virus has led to many interesting discoveries. The test subject has gained many of its mutations from the overdose of the virus. This would account for the enhanced muscle and bone structure. Additionally, the recessive genes, which are commonly found in humans, have been manipulated in such a way as to bring about the best possible combination. While the process by which this happens is uncertain, it does have some severe side effects. Chief among them is sterility. The test subject would have been unable to reproduce with any creature, whether clean or mutated. Other side effects include an alteration of pigment of the epidermis. The life expect expectancy is increased by 10%. Intellect is decreased by this strain by 30%. Conclusions Based on this information, I would extrapolate that we could simply outleave these mutants, however, based on the fact that these mutants have a super high concentration of the virus, it stands to reason that there could be some place which is creating them. As to where they could be, I cannot hazard a guess. Interesting. Pretty sure that has to be about a super mutant. And it's probably not a ghoul. Ghouls don't weigh 370 kilograms. <laughs> okay. Now, let's, uh, okay, look at all our quests. Water chip. Yep, yep. Shady sands. Nothing there. Junk town. Oh, I forgot about that Bust the Skulls game thing. Maybe I'll get back to that sometime. Fix the water pump. That's basically my main objective right now. Um, relative Steel. Rescue Initiate from the hub. That's what I'm going to do first. Go to the hub. Sell some crap. Try to find the Initiate. And... Then we'll go to Necropolis. Let's roll, boys. Let's reload. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Reloaded. That's full enough. Uh, I might as well reload it. Save. Let's talk to these guys. What can I help you with? Can I ask you a few questions? Heard any good rumors lately? Some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. Why? 
Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other elders. I ask you a few more Go questions. Ahead. What exactly do you do? I greet people at the gates and decide whether to let them in. You and the merchants are about the only ones that get in now because the elders seem like they're preparing for something. Where do you let the merchants in? Why do I let them in? Well, we have to get our food and other things. We trade our weapons for. Hey, what's up, Luke? Long time no see, man. Hope uh, your winter is going well. Why don't you just grow food for yourselves? Uh, well, the purpose of this place is to make scribes and knights. Anyone who wants to be something else just leaves. Go ahead. Okay, I think that's all. Goodbye, Goodbye. Kevin. Been a while. Yeah, it has been. I, I saw that you were like randomly posted in chat one day, like I don't know, a few weeks ago. While I was, I think I was either at work or probably asleep or something already. I don't know. This guy doesn't want to talk anymore. But yeah. Ain't much new going on here. Just playing Fallout 1. Which is really fun. I don't think it makes for a very good viewer game. I don't think people I think people see Fallout and a lot of people don't didn't don't know about like how Fallout 1 actually is and they are expecting something different. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go to the hub. I don't have any time for detours. Jump in randomly when you have a spare few minutes. Have you been working all winter? I forget, do you guys have like your your break, your school break? Over the same months that we do from uh, June to September. Okay, so we're looking for a scribe. Could be anywhere. Let's just ask everybody if we can, maybe. Still working for the charity. And your breaks are slightly different. Ah, oh, okay. For some reason I thought you were on break from school too. Oh, you were until a few weeks ago. So, what's been new with you? You uh, had had any time for gaming lately, or you just been busy with busy with life? You have a four week break around June, July, and two months around December, January. Makes sense. <laughs> this one's this one's inviting me in, the other two are like, get the fuck out. Ooh boy. I 
Where the hell is the... Hmm. Looking for the, uh... Deputy, sh deputy Sheriff or whatever. <laughs> Haven't had heaps. Pretty busy with uni. Playing games, just old stuff. Skyrim, Swell Tour, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Just do whatever you feel like you'd, you'd enjoy at the moment. What's the date? It's April. Holy crap. Alright, so, so far... Nobody around here wants to talk, or... I have no option to at least ask about the missing... Brotherhood in this ship. Let's do our selling. So, it's metal armor and rocket launcher, shotgun. Oh, the shotgun shells. I might as well get rid of these spike knuckles. They're kind of my backup weapon, but I don't know. How much do they weigh? Oh, they only weigh one pound. Oh, I'll hang on to them. Yeah, man, it's good to hear from you, though. Fridays are usually slow here. I think all my normal viewers actually have lives. <laughs> Oh, um, fuck. Well, maybe maybe I won't sell all this stuff to this guy, because he doesn't have much to offer me in return. Okay, um... Take this stuff back. Yeah, 3 p.m. on your Saturday, true. I don't mind it. I'm like, I've, I'm so completely used to just talking to myself on my stream. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I still enjoy it. I actually think it like, it kind of makes, it feels, I don't know, more immers immersive when I'm, even when I'm just talking to myself on stream. Like, I would do it when I'm not even on stream, but I don't know, that might feel a little bit too weird for me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember, there was a. Ah, this, I think this is it, the library. Yeah, she's got all the fucking books. How much for all of those? 10,000? Probably 
probably don't need that many. Alright, let's go five of them. Five of those and five guns and bullets, I think. Oh god, guns and bullets are like <laughs> twice as expensive. Right, let's see. Hollow tapes aren't worth anything. Uh, most of the most of the books in these games, you read them and then it increases your ability. So like. The electronics books increase repair, your repair skill, and guns and bullets obviously, your guns. I mean I have shitload of money but do I want to spend it all on this right now? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know why I'm holding on to these water flasks. How much do these flares weigh? One each. Let's get rid of a couple. Damn, they don't sell for much, huh? Except for this book right here. I got this at the very beginning of the game. And it just says you have no idea. I guess it's a cat book. I don't know. I've been holding on to it the whole game, and I don't know what to do with it. How much does the booze sell for? Damn it. Alright, let's just pay the rest with cash then. How much do we need? 110? Yeah, I need to get my repair skill up because there's a, a water pump in a village nearby I need to repair and I didn't have high enough repair skill. I do have like 25 skill points I haven't spent yet, but I'd rather save those and use the books. So right now my repair is at uh, 53. I've tried offering less than what they ask a few times, but they usually turn it down, so... Seems like you either have to give more or exactly what they what they're asking for. Maybe I mean maybe you could if you have a high barter skill, but my barter skill is uh, crappy. Twenty. I think that's my lowest skill. Oh, besides big guns and energy weapons. Trading and trade related tasks, the ability to get better prices for items you sell and lower prices for items you buy. Okay, that sounds like it probably doesn't let you offer less, but they will just straight up sell things for less to you. Maybe I should work on that. <laughs> okay. And yeah, my repair went up to 57. Oh, you saw my stats too. <laughs> yeah, cause uh, I don't know what I was thinking. 
I was like, all right. They let me put all, like you, st you start with five uh, all across. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take all of my charisma out, all of my endurance and all of my luck, and then put my strength, perception, intelligence, and agility <laughs> all the way up. And it's been working out pretty well. I mean, I do die pretty easily because I only have 40 HP. But I think my agility like, helps make up for that a little bit because I don't get hit as much. Okay, the pair is at 70 now. Cool. <laughs> Min maxing, yeah. Alright, where in the world would a Brotherhood Initiate be? In this place. Step aside, please. Let's go ask the uh, sheriff. Okay. Seems like there's no one I can talk to about this. Might just have to... Unless she's in the jail. Is that a back door? Might break into the jail just to see if either of those are the person I'm looking for. Lockpicking time. Nice. And the prisoners will talk to me. Alright, well, I'm gonna open the door and see if they talk to me then. But if they don't, I'm just gonna reload the save and act like I didn't do it. Innocent. Alright, I guess. You guys can probably see me through there. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's Bob from the Guana Bits. I, per I forgot I put I'm the one who put him in jail. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? You shut down my business and got a big fat reward. I'm sure. So you're just here to gloat or what? Uh, nah, just checking to see how you're doing. Terrible, thanks to you. Nobody likes snitches. They might let me die in here for all I know. Serves you right. <laughs> what a fuck off. Alright, I'm gonna reload the save. Pretend that didn't happen. Basically, that guy, I put him in jail because he was uh, using human body parts um, to sell from his, I guess, butcher business, whatever you call it. Dude, is a combat shotgun. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think they would. I'm, out, I'm still outside the door. Really? Reload. Maybe I can sneak in there. Nope, they can see right through the sneaking. Damn. 
Oh, there's four guys in here? Who's who are they guarding? That's what I want to know. A battered man. Sounds delicious. Should we go for the headshot? 95% on torso. 55 on head. Yeah, that's better than half. Let's do it. Wrecked. I'm probably gonna die though. <sighs> yeah, I should have should have healed. Oh, I didn't die. All right, guess we're healing. I need to get out of the doorway. Ah, fuck it, let's heal again. This fight now. Need to take out that dude with the. Or do I take out the dude with the shotgun, or do I use some points to switch to my melee weapon? Probably smarter to switch, and I can heal at the same time. Time to punch some bitches. You thought shotgun guy would have been. Yeah, you're probably right. He's fucking me up. Damn. Oh, I died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You're right. I should have just tried to take out the shotgun dude. I'm interested in your radiated corpse. Man. Alright, well, this time I'm going to have my power fist equipped beforehand. Alright, fuck you guys. Go for shotgun guy first, I guess. Oops, let's do the... There we go. Uh, only 24% for his head. I guess he's kind of behind some cover. Fuck. Go with this guy again. Hopefully I hit him again. Damn. Didn't crit though. This is... Shit, don't kill Ian. You just fucking punch my dog? Damn, Ian's getting fucked up by the shotgun, dude. I just got fucked up. I need to... I need to go. I'm just gonna go after a shotgun dude. Hand to hand. Ian's running because he's low. 
Oh shit, he's running after him. Fuck. Can I still get an attack? Damn it. I think Ian's fucked. Run, Ian! Run! Oh, shit! Fuck! Running as far as I can before they start attacking. Okay. How much HP does this guy have? Ninety. I hope I don't get crit by the shotgun. Could use some drugs or something to strengthen myself, but. Nah. Alright. He's real low now. What is he at? Nice. What? Oh my god, she almost killed the dog. The fucking spray always hits everything. What? I thought he was dead. Fuck. He better not be going after the dog. Probably just running. Fuck! And I missed. Are you kidding me? Okay. Thank you. He had one HP. <laughs> Don't go too far, dog meat. Damn. She fucked him up. Alright, we're good now, right? In combat. Nice. Now, who the fuck were these guys anyway? <laughs> combat shotgun. Guess I'll just take it all to sell. Oh wait, there's another guy? Fuck. How did... <laughs> Alright. Now we're good. I think. Where are you going, Donnie? Alright, we're good. Just 
and take all this stuff and probably go buy more books with it. Alright, so who do they have prisoner here? Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks, perhaps months, these thugs have had me here. I'm very grateful for your help. I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. Oh, he is. He is the person I'm looking for. Sick. I'm from the Brotherhood. I've been looking for you. I really appreciate you helping me. Why are you trying to lie to me? Do you not think I know every member of our order? Talus sent me. Well, you don't know me because I just joined. Well, um, I'll just say Talus sent me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You must have passed that test the elders made up. I completely forgot about that. Well, my thanks goes even deeper. I'm glad you never gave up. My life could have been in jeopardy at any moment. It must have taken you a while to hunt me down. The city is huge. The obstacles you must have overcome. Um, well, you know, I'm just that good. Actually, it was quite easy. Tell us knew where he went. Just lucky, I guess. Um... Just lucky, I guess. Well, I'm glad your luck held out. Even though my luck stat is one. <laughs> I've heard some bad things about Old Town. The skags are creepy. I think it's something else. Cool. Alright, so we accomplished what we set out for here. I feel like I didn't loot one of them. Like, the bodies are positioned in such a way that I can't loot one. Maybe I did. While we're out here, kind of want to you know, visit my old friend. Oh, if he has hey, anything. Hey, it's you again. Give him, hook anything him up I some more caps. I think there were some other things around here. I never went downstairs there. Oh, let's get my weapon back on. These guys aren't hostile, that's cool. Let me check out your basement. Can't click on the door, there we go. on the wrong thing again, I'm sure. There we go. I think when the, like, the little circle around me blocks it, I can't do anything. Did I just unload it? I think I did. What the f- 
God damn it. Fucking traps. Well, everyone, whoever's in here knows we're here now. <laughs> Okay, let's heal. I still don't know how you're supposed to see traps in this game. Like I have a, I have nine perception. I should be able to see them all somehow. <laughs> Let me look that up real quick. Maybe there's a hotkey for it. Four is traps. Is that to set traps or actually see traps? Did not find any traps. Okay. Both doors are locked. What about this one? Yeah, I mean, sure, I can check doors this way, but. How do I check, like, Ground traps, floor traps. Doesn't work when you click on the door or the ground. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> ah. I guess I guess there's no way around that. Glad there's no traps on the doors. I wonder if these guys are friendly. What do you want? Okay, I guess they're friendly. Um, tell me about the circle. If you're lucky, you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day. At home, part of the furniture, you know. Tell me about Decker. We don't discuss Mr. Decker in polite company. Tell me about the missing caravans. We had nothing to do with that. Okay. Welcome to the Thieves Circle. Play your cards right and you're in. Interesting. We don't talk to no outsiders. I don't think this is my kind of a uh, group, but uh, I'm gonna talk to him anyway. I'm assuming this guy might be the the leader or something. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. <laughs> I'm Zodan. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Taking you all off to jail. I need to ask you a few things. That's it? A few questions? Well, you're either incredibly brave or a total moron. Ask away, ask away, and then we'll show you to the door, shall we? All right. Uh, let's go with the missing caravans. I'm looking for the missing caravans. Any suggestions? You could check with the merchants, although your time would be better spent sizing them up for some night removal work. While I think it's absolute <laughs> bunk, ask around about the death claw, or even follow a caravan out if you've totally lost your mind. That's the only question I get to ask. Fine job making it through the defenses, mate. Quite oh, pleased to okay. make your acquaintance. That's it. Um. Anything is interesting going on around here? Oh, just the usual. The merchant caravans get fat off the poor while that villain Decker plays off everyone. Um, tell me about the hub. Well, you've 
got the usual numbers of shops and things, mix in some children of the cathedral nutcases, add a dollop of Decker and his underground making life hard for us all, top it with a sprinkle of greedy merchants, and that will just about cover it. Sounds like you're a real Decker supporter. Next question, please. <laughs> Heard any good, good rumors lately? Other than the missing caravans, not much. Oh, wait. One of my lads came back yesterday all aglow with a touch of radiation poisoning. Mm, nasty business. Probably tiptoed a bit too close to the old hot spot. Tell me about the circle. We steal from the rich, plain and simple. We give about, oh, 10 to 20% to the poor folks over in Old Town. The mm. circle keeps 20, which leaves the rest for the thief. Not a bad deal all round, hmm. So, they're not all bad. They're, they're Robin Hood thieves. Hmm. I have, like, zero stealing skill. Not really low. 29. I don't think it would fit in very well here. No, I will keep them in mind. Step aside. Alright. Let's try not to set off every trap on the way out. Hopefully they, they don't reset all these traps, in case I ever want to come back here. Please move. Kid, please. Kid. Please. This is the, the one really annoying thing about this game. Alright. If I go down and back up. Yay, that worked. I didn't actually think that would work. Who's this guy again? Oh yeah, this guy sells guns and shit. Has a quite a bit of uh, caps. That's some decent guns, actually. He doesn't really have anything I want, though. I'd rather probably buy from the gun runners because I can get a discount from them. Anyhow. guys what goes on in this building all right won't pick a fight with them just yet Let's examine them Vance thug The guy has a name, so maybe he might be important later on. Okay, I think um, I think I might head toward Necropolis now. I 
Let's say buy more of these books. Like how uh, I'm selling this library and all my unwanted weapons and for books. <laughs> She's pretty much a weapons dealer now. I wonder if I could get Katya to use a shotgun. Probably not, but might be worth a try. Alright, maybe I can afford one more of these books, or one of these books. Almost. I'm going to try to give Katya the shotgun, see if she'll use it. Tired of her sp spray and pray with the SMG. Damn, you're killing either me or dog meat half the time. Oops, not all. Actually, I'm not even going to try to count that out. Sure, I can sell him something else. Or her. Stim packs. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, Katya, come over here. Wait, this is her, right? This isn't Ian. Yeah, that's her. Okay. Oh, I forgot she has a ripper. Oops, not all of it. Give me a leather, leather armor. Okay. Hopefully she'll use it. Draw your best weapon. Sell her the armor and the knife. Or straight caps. All right, cool. Go to the library, yes. I'd like to check out a shotgun, please. Okay. Before we go to the necropolis, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'll go for another hour or so. And then I'll be done for the night. I'm hoping we can get to the necropolis and finish. Like basically just finish everything we need to finish before uh as far as like the water chip and everything before we go all right so be right back making luke look like a spammer here
All right. Mind Boomer, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Let's go to the Necropolis. All right. The question will be, can we get to the Necropolis and all the way back up to the vault within well, how many days do we have left? Let's check real quick. 33 days. That's going to be tight. Alright, these guys are all the enemies. Fuck! I always forget to put my melee weapon back on. And I didn't even read my gun book. And I just opened my inventory twice and wasted a bunch. Of... Oh, these look like... I think these are really low-level raiders. That was really delayed. I don't know why my notifier took that long to, <laughs> to pop it up. But thank you again, Mind Boomer. Alright, let's go after. Which one's. Is that Kachi or is that an enemy? Yeah, it's an enemy. Just take her out. There we go. Yeah, these are all low level, like level one raiders. Should we go over the headshot? Nah, let's just go torso. Man, my sniper was so weak. What's up, Nintendo? 12 more hours until yogurt time? Ah, because uh, your antibiotic wait period so you can get your, uh, uh, what do you call them? Your bacteria, your good bacteria. Whatever you. <laughs> Why can't I think of what, what they're called right now? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. guys have even have anything worth taking and way over their heads nah I don't even I don't even want a desert eagle I'm gonna make a new save Call it Necropolis, then Vault 13. Yeah, yogurt yogurt cultures are definitely very good for your digestion. Watershed. 
Yeah, I should be able to go straight to the watershed. Gotta sneak in there though. So sneaky. Alright, let's see if I can actually fix this damn thing this time. Alright, so here's how we test this. Repair is at 70. Let's try... 75. I think I might be doing this wrong. Do I have to like put in the materials first? Try. That's all I had to do? I didn't actually have to... Alright, hold on. Let me... <laughs> let me... Let me step back a second. I didn't actually have to spend any po all those points in repair. You haven't pooped normal in almost a month. <laughs> like so, what? Like, are you just like really constipated all the time, or are you just like fucking pissing out your butt? Yeah, that sucks. All right, where did it, where did that? stuff go. There it is. Okay, maybe I didn't need to put the points in because... Yeah, it didn't wor doesn't work this time. Oh, there we go. It's just a skill check. The massive pump struggles to life after you successfully install the missing parts. You earn a thousand experience for fixing the water pump. The ghouls will be grateful. Water pump is fixed and working fine. Yeah, that sucks, man. Like ghoul. Fuck. How come? You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Damn it. <laughs> that didn't happen. This is I saved after the pump fix, right? Yeah. That's the first time he's ever seen me when I'm sneaking. I wonder if this combat armor just makes me a lot louder or something. Guys, get out of the way. I think, I think like, they're, they ignore, like, my other party members. Okay, here we go. We're good, we're good. Alright, how do we get back to, uh, that one dude? Oh, wait, wait, I remember. Yeah, I have to go through another door. Might as well just go up right here. Goes in here. Just took the last weird super antibiotic just now. All right. 
Enjoy. What kind of yogurt are you gonna get? Alright, dude, fix your water pump. I'm gonna take that water chip, chip and we're cool, right? Thank you for repairing the water pump, and I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Alright, so I have his blessing now, okay. We weren't gonna be a bad guy and just take the water chip without making sure they get their own water supply taken care of. Alright, so I have to sneak through past that big dude one more time. I still don't know how you, how you get in here. Not even gonna bother with that right now. Gonna head to Walmart tomorrow morning. Yeah, I don't know that much about yogurt either. I know they say like you're supposed to for the good ones you're supposed to look on the package and it's supposed to tell you like how many active cultures it has and that kind of thing, but I never got that far with it. What foods are good for di di digestive health? Um, what else? I mean, basically anything high in fiber. chip. Yeah, 31 days. I think we can make it back to the vault in 31 days. Easy. I probably should just kill these guys instead of trying to sneak around them. But I like to sneak. I'm gonna take that water chip. I hope it doesn't like end the game as soon as I turn over the water chip because I want to keep doing things. After shutting down the water purification computer, you can now hear the repaired water pump working in the distance, bringing water up from what must be a deep well under an acropolis. Alright. So everyone's cool, right? And I can put my skill points into... I don't know. Small guns, maybe? Or... Nah, let's do barter. Or speech. Speech. Reach to 75 or not. And then a couple in barter. Alright, let's get back to our vault. And all this was because Nintendo went down on a hooker in Las Vegas. You don't go down on a hooker, man. <laughs> oh, one, 
one more guy to sneak by. I'm still curious about um, when this guy takes you to his boss or whatever, like the area that it, he takes you to looks like nothing I've ever seen before. So I think at some point I want to actually let him capture me and what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Let him capture me and I don't know, take out and explore wherever it is he takes me. Alright, back to 13. See how many days this takes. Uh, it's only like 10 days. Easy. Alright, let's see if this ends the game. I go to the cavern first to make a new save. Take water chip to thirteen. Eh, might as well run through the cavern. Watch I come in here and like everyone's dead. That'd be sick. I don't want to have a twist like that. Oh, everyone's cool. Heard about some of these places before, but never been in one. Seems nice and clean. A little too clean for my taste. That's a weapon. Have you actually used that against someone? Yo, you guys don't even know. Like, outside... I rule the world. And my character is a 46 year old man. He might even be 47 now. Nah, 46. Had a, he was in a, his midlife crisis, and all he wanted to do was get out of the vault. I've been in this vault for 46 years. just want to get out of here and experience life. Now, why would I want to come back to this? Need some drugs. I'm not authorized to give you any. <laughs> I have an urgent need for them. Without the drugs, the safety of the vault is in jeopardy. Well, since you put it that way, did, but don't tell anyone that I let you have these. There's that new that speech skill upgrade. <laughs> They're extremely addictive and dangerous to use. Aha. Welcome back, Zelda. How's going? How goes the search? Need some more stim packs. Ah, yes. Here, I found these. Use them when you need a boost. It's going okay. Good. Keep up the good work and let me know if you need anything. Alright. Guess we have to go deeper into the vault to find the overseer. Ian. Step aside. Am I on floor one right now? Yeah, I am. Alright, let's go to two. Be careful while traveling outside the vault. Thank you. 
Lyle. What's up, Lyle? Hello, Lyle. How are you holding up? Not so good. Ever since I had one of my water rations stolen the other day, things have been going downhill. Everybody's getting scared and nobody knows what to do. Do I actually, do I actually care about this? Uh, fine. I'll take a look-see and see what I can do. Thanks. I sure hope you can get to the bottom of this, and please hurry and find a new water chip. This craziness wouldn't have happened at all if we had a working chip. Yeah, I don't know where you're going to find one of those. God, this... People are a bunch of pussies. Why do I keep saying not yet? Don't I have it? I have it, right? Zodan, have you found the water chip yet? No luck yet, but I know I'll find it. By the way, how are you doing? I'm afraid of what is happening. Someone has been stealing water and now everyone is on edge. What happened? Some people reported that their water had been stolen. They weren't given more water, but some friends shared with them. After that, everybody got very paranoid and started guarding their water. A few days later, Someone knocked out the guard in the ration supply area and stole water rations from the supply lockers. It's terrible, what can I do? Maybe you can stop whomever is doing this. Who do you think might be involved? Some people have been accused and fights have broken out over it, but nobody really knows. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I have the water chip, it's right there. Water purification control computer system chip. Looks surprisingly like the chip that your vault needs. It weighs two pounds. It's a heavy ass fucking chip. Time to lay down the law. Who the fuck is stealing the water? Of course, I think it's necessary. Hello, Zeldon. How fares your journey? It's going pretty well, thanks. It's good to hear that. I knew that the outside world couldn't be as bad as everyone says. I mean, our ancestors lived outside, right? But that paranoid overseer won't let us leave. Mm. The overseer is simply trying to protect us. The outside world is dangerous to the unprepared. I suppose. I always figured that he just had some sort of power trip, but I guess that he wouldn't be the overseer if he wasn't really concerned about our welfare, would he? I guess we should just wait and see if you can find that chip. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Alright, let's go to level 3. Did I talk to her? Okay, she's nobody. What the fuck is this dude running around for? I bet they're gonna make it. I have to do some like crazy shit to get this water ch water chip installed. Oh, we're missing another part or some shit. Oh fuck! I 
This is the storage room. It looks emptier than you remember it. The vault must be running out of supplies at a greater rate than you could have imagined. There all the water. Nothing I really need. The fuck, Cortana? Didn't say your name. <laughs> God damn it. It would be awesome if a huge fight broke out right now. I want to try to talk to that running dude. What is he running for? Oh, okay. Nothing. Yeah, I'm using Windows 10. Security door is locked. Put your weapon away right now. Fuck you. Alright, maybe I maybe I have to in order for her to talk to me. It must be the overseer over there. Reminds me of the time your phone thought you said OK Google in the middle of your modern mathematical analysis lecture. <laughs> I, I really love Windows 10. It's like, it feels like an upgrade to Windows 7 rather than like a brand new OS that they're trying to, you know, force different or, different or new technology on you, but actually feels like a better version of Windows 7 to me. It's a lot faster, a lot more efficient. It's a lot easier to access a lot of uh, like the utilities, and control panel, all that stuff. Uh, there's a lot of built-in apps that you normally would have had, have, have had to uh, download it separately. Like has a built-in uh, virtual drives, so you don't have to like get daemon tools or anything to mount ISO images. I'm quite impressed with it so far. I know a lot of people are concerned about the privacy issues, especially if you use Cortana and all that stuff, but you can turn off most of the stuff, and if you... I'm not really that concerned about privacy issues myself. I figure... Most, uh, most companies are doing that shit anyway. Without your knowledge, so... I honestly don't... I'm not under the impression that... I actually have privacy. <laughs> I figured government's all in our shit anyway here, so it's whatevs. Alright, nothing over there. None of, the go none of those guys would talk, so this is the last area. Yeah, it actually makes me want to get a Windows phone just for the easier accessibility and like streaming from your PC to your phone and all that kind of stuff. Seems pretty cool. Alright, let's put away the weapons then and see what happens. So before I keep forgetting, I'm going to read this book.
thinking about upgrading from 7, but you like 7 and don't want to mess things up. I definitely, like, like I said, it's, it feels like a, like a built-on upgrade and basically patch to Windows 7 to me. Though if you don't want to, like, if you're trying to keep all the stuff, um, like that you want, like if you want to actually do an upgrade install, I wouldn't recommend that. I did it at first because you have to with Windows 7. You have to upgrade straight from 7 to 10 in order for them to uh, copy down your hardware info and that's how they keep track of whether or not you're eligible for Windows 10. But yeah, it was really sluggish after doing the upgrade, so I, after that, I just did a clean install and it's way better. Good to see you again. Is there anything that I can do for you? What do you do? I'm in charge of vault security and law enforcement. You might not know it, but the vault wouldn't run as well if it wasn't for me. Sounds important. It is. Without proper adherence to the laws, the vault would soon be a lawless place with no direction that would jeopardize the safety of us all. Now that I've, now that I've been outside, are there any laws that apply specifically to me? Well, even if weapons are required on the outside world, don't display them in a threatening manner here. Other than that, I can't think of anything in particular. Why would there be a locked door in the vault? To keep the weapons away from those who don't have access to them. Tonight! The Galactic Panda. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Who has access? The Overseer, myself, and this, my security team. That's it. That's a really small list. Yes, it is. I have to get back to work. Alright, hook me up with some weapons. The Overseer has not authorized me to open the armory and get you more weapons. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Alright, thanks anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, what the whole Windows 9 thing was. I figured it was just so people could use the pun because or the seven, eight, nine. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Possibly the end of the game. Hopefully not. Have you found the chip? This guy has pedo written all over him. Hmm. Which one? Yes, or yes, but I think we should talk more about letting people leave the vault. Yeah, might as well talk about it. Well, you've certainly earned that right, but let's take care of survival first. Give me the chip and we'll discuss this when you give your report. Fair enough. Okay, dokey. One moment. The chip is initializing. There, 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 there it goes. Self test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've. You've saved us. You've done it. You're welcome. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. Okay.
You earned 7,500 experience for returning the water chip and saving the vault. Congratulations. You log your reports in the library computer system. You should return to the overseer to finalize your progress. Hmm. Does that mean finish the game? Finalize progress? I don't know about this. But I'll play along. Oh, I wonder what people say. Are you going to say no? Thank you for returning the water chip. It's really going to help morale and keep people from breaking vault law. Eh, fuck it. I'm not going to go around and click on everybody again. You are a swell guy. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, Here it comes. I am a little concerned, however. Concerned about what? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. In fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. Uh, what's that? Uh, the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Hmm. Yeah, I can I can probably agree with that. Must be a lab somewhere then. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. What do you want me to do about it? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Hmm. Once more into the breach, my friend. You have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. Nah, it sucks in here anyway. Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. I just wanted to see if he would barter with me. Not yet, but I've got some good news. Hurry, the more time they have to produce them, the harder they'll be to stop. All right, so that wasn't as insane as I thought it might be. And I got a new level. And I'm not on the fucking time timer anyway anymore, so sweet. Actually I do want to go around and click on everybody again. <laughs> Just in case. Anybody want to talk to me? Anybody? No? But yeah, I think my next goal will be um, go, probably go back to the Brotherhood
catch up with uh, catch up with them. See how I can get in better with them after saving the one dude. Maybe I can get some fucking power armor. Power armor, then then exploring the glow more. Basically, my my two main objectives right now. I wonder if any, everyone is still concerned about water being stolen up here. Doesn't seem like it. It's so maybe that. That one's done now. Uh, yeah, find and catch the water thief is scratched off, so. I wonder if I got XP for that too. I guess I didn't technically find or catch a water thief, but at least I resolved the issue. Nah, guess not. Nobody in the vault wants to talk to me now. No new missions or nothing? I didn't think you would succeed, but you did a good job. Thank you for saving us all. I could have just popped that up over your head. <laughs> Alright, guess we'll check the last four. And then head back to the Brotherhood. Need more stim packs. Stim packs are being rationed. You're welcome to what we have in the medical container on the wall outside of this room. Take as many as you need, but use them sparingly. It'll be a while before we can get you some more. Oh, I didn't even see that. I will help myself. Alright. Fuck that place. Bunch of losers in there. I need me some wastelands. Let's level up though. Well, I get a new perk, animal friend. Animals will not attack one of their friends unless the animal is threatened or attacked first. Exactly what an animal is in this world is open to debate. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. Two more points of damage. For each level. Oh yeah, it's multiple levels. Um, kind of want bonus move. I kinda want bonus move. Bonus rate of fire. Range attack, one less HP. Dodger. You're less likely to be hit in combat if you have this perk. Every level will add plus five to your armor class. 
in addition to the AC bonus from any worn armor. Hmm. Could use that. Earlier sequence, educated. Empathy. Yes, there's some new ones I haven't been offered before. You have studied other human beings, giving the inside knowledge of their emotional reaction to you. You'll see the reaction level of the person you are talking to when involved in an in-depth conversation. Also, it'll like tell me, it'll tell me like what might make them upset or happy, that kind of thing. That could be useful. Explorer. The mark of the explorer is to search out new and interesting locations. With, it. with this perk, you have a greater chance of finding special places or people. Ooh, God damn! Some of these sound so. I might go with the explorer. I might go with the explorer. When the sun goes down or you're in a poorly lit area, you move like a ghost with this perk. Your sneak skills enhance 20%. Nah. Healer. I also want kind of wanted silent running. Fuck. Silent running or explorer. I think those are my two that I want. Okay, I'm going with Explorer. I don't need to silent run, I can just walk places, no big deal. Alright, I'm going on barter now. Done so. Now, back to the Brotherhood. So I'm guessing with that Explorer perk I can have a random chance of finding like cool things when I'm just wandering around. That's my guess. Let's just go straight to level one. Members of the Brotherhood might be offended if a stranger, I, I mean a new initiate, approaches them with a weapon. Uh, yeah. But I'm actually going to stop right here, guys. Um. It's been fun. It's been fun. I think we got a lot done tonight. Still a lot left to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like anything that gets gets me a better chance at finding rare places or people, I'm cool with. Because there has been... A, a couple times where I run into like random encounters that have actually been like friendly people so there are more of those I would like to see those 
But yep, thank you for the new follows, the Galactic Panda, and Mime Boomer. And Luke, it's good to see you again. Nintendo, I hope you're, you enjoy your yogurt and things. And everything for you gets better. And, um, yeah, that'll be it. Don't know if I will or will not stream tomorrow. That's kind of up in the air, but as usual, Monday through Thursdays are my normal days. And what I just kind of decided if I feel like streaming on the weekends. And with, with the way I've been engaged with this game, it, it's pretty likely. But I'm not going to guarantee anything. So, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you're at. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.